have to write 10 papers for a criminal justice class while I'm here. And I have about four left, they have to be about two to three pages. And they're due today, and I have three more to do. So I'm in a, I'm in a little bit of a hurry. <laughs> left room today, on our way to Florence. Five hour drive, just took a piss stop. Now, I don't even know how long we got left. Um, room was fun, now I just ready to see what Florence got in store for us. Right here we got the world's biggest Gatorade. You can't get this in America. And I definitely will not be thirsty on this bus ride. Just had like a three and a half hour bus ride. Florence right now, three and a half, no it's four. Four hour four bus hours. ride. I don't know, I was sleeping the entire way. see some, uh, some stuff in Florence. I don't really know. We're going to follow this guy over here with the glasses. Let's see where he takes us. I've been on more guided tours in the past couple of days than I've probably been on my whole life. But just to be able to ask the question, if you have a question, and know what every little detail is, is it definitely helps to get a better understanding and better appreciation for the work. That you're saying. 16 years, the whole job was done, but none the white thing on top. Only the white thing on top. Yeah, we took the um, visit to the museum to see all of Michael, Michelangelo's work, all the beautiful, beautiful artwork they had there. How in, the, how in the world did he do this? Just out of stone, I mean. And they actually said he prefers forming out of stone than drawing, so I found that really interesting. Like, from stone, basically just create all this by hand. Making a statue like that, of that size, 17 feet, it shows how someone with talent could just make anything happen. There wasn't much, as much going on as there was in Rome. Much different from the US. Streets are much smaller. Uh, people don't talk as loud. <laughs> Not, not as much big cars, a lot of little cars. And people do a lot of walking here. I just finished up a uh, art history course at Fairfield this past semester. Saw it in class, now I get to see it in person. It's all full circle for me now. Day two, woke up early, uh, went up to the bell tower next to Duomo. It was a great experience, unbelievable. You can see the whole town basically setting up, people on their rooftops eating breakfast, all like the horses and stuff getting coming in for work in the morning. Just not a lot of people, there wasn't too crowded. It was, it was great. With the mountains in the back, it was amazing. Yeah, we're going to Fort Lee. Let's go. Let's get it. You ready? Let's go. I didn't expect it to be two hours to a game, but I was excited. We're excited to get another game. I know this team was an A2 team, I believe, which was a higher level than the last team we played. To have a chance to play a better team, it gave us some, somewhat of an opportunity to be challenged. You're anxious, you want to play, you want to kind of prove yourself that you can play with the professionals. But once you step in between the lines and actually get a couple of couple plays into your system, I mean, basketball then after that. It's, it's, you're working together in transition. When we first started learning 
sometimes. The new system was a little hard. No one could really see the full picture yet. But once we got into the games, we kind of see how it works. He's given us a chance to show what we can do instead of like being stagnant and running plays over and over and over. As a team, we we took what coach wanted to do and, and how much we worked on in practice and really tried to put it together. And it really showed out there. In the fourth quarter, we made a 36-7 run, which took the lead up to up to over 30. And once that happened, I knew this team was going to be probably pretty good this year. It does feel really good. We spent a lot of time this summer on conditioning and working out. And to be able to pull back that in the fourth quarter is kind of a testament to how hard work we put in. I don't, I don't feel as though a lot of times when we play a team, it's about them. I think it's about us because I feel as though we have the potential to be good. So we just got to go out there and execute and play our game rather than worry about who they have and what they can do. We got size, we got quickness. I mean, it's just everybody, everybody can do so many things on the court. I mean, nobody's one dimensional. I think this team is special because the bond we have off the court. We're always together, whether it be classroom, cafeteria, gym. Our relationship off the court makes it that much easier on the court. They like each other, and you can see that when they play on the court. And so it's just exciting to, to coach guys like that, that you know, are talented, they work hard, the team chemistry is tremendous. To pull away from a professional team like that, a big accomplishment for this team and a good step going forwards. Um, satisfied, but we still got ways to go because we can win all these games and it just comes down to three games. So we just gotta keep taking one game at a time and keep striding. You know, it's good to see our team, you know, get out to a lead again, the way we did earlier with great defense and good team play, and then coming back out the second half and really putting it to them. I think that's. Uh, that's all that we'd hope for. They first half they stuck with us. We were up by one at halftime, but uh, second half we came out and defended, and it was a wrap. We're looking at the leaning tower of Pisa. Yeah. yeah. We did the background history and the reason why it's leaning because yesterday when we played the game, Rakim tip dunked it so hard. So hard that it, it shook the everything ground. Everything shook. And, and, like it just, and we thought it was an earthquake. We showed up today. They're not letting nobody near. They leaning. only take a picture because Rakim Sanders. He was mad at the rim yesterday. Like, the whole Italy shook and just, yeah, and it just tipped off. Because of his dunk. Bit. And then Ryan followed up with the aftershock. Yeah, Ryan followed up with the aftershock and then just eh, and, a little bit more. And now look what we got. So I hope we don't got too many more dunks like that because it might just fall. I seen it in the movies, I heard about it. So being here, it was very special. Got to take the pictures, pushing it up, pushing it down, all that. All right, yep, that, hold on, stay right there. I gotta see what the class is. Come on. Another one of those things, you can see the pictures, but you see it in person and it's, it actually is leaning a tower, looks like it's about to fall over. The leaning tower of Pisa can get you dizzy. That's 288 steps. Probably about, I say about around the ninth step is when you kind of feel uneasy. The stairs are also leaning to the side, so walking up you had a little slant going, which made it a lot more difficult. I didn't anticipate that. Steps. I'm feeling good. I got this on the record. Coach Johnson backed out on us, and he always talked about family. We're gonna have a talk with him when we get back downstairs. But it's a beautiful sight you can see over everything. Uh, I'm living a life. I'm really blessed right now. I'm gonna continue my tour. We're going to the top, baby. Tiffany John to the top. The last little bit was real, real tight. My shoulders could barely even fit through, so it was crazy. It was amazing. I mean, seeing all the whole whole city from a, from our top is pretty nice. Oh my God! Yo, we got Yo, what are we doing up here? This is crazy. Like we have nothing holding us this right now. Like we, if I wanted to jump, I could jump. We could just it's jump. like a it's like I'm on top of a mountain right now. I need a parachute while I'm up here. This is worse than the roller coaster. Just in, just in case. Come here. 
I can't go back down. Elliot is defending way back down. Coach Newsom, too. Let's get everyone. Let's just get everyone who's here in this picture. Come on. Let's get everybody. I'm looking for Coach Johnson right now. You know, I'm proud of him. He climbed the first 90 steps. But my official count was 288, so he's missing a lot of steps. We got to the top, looked around, and there's nowhere to be found. So we got a bone to pick with him when we see him doing a lot of coaching. We got an interview right here. All right, so how does it feel to uh, this not is, conquer the, the leaning tower? This is a great opportunity, and I'm happy to be here, and I appreciate everything that everyone's done for me. God bless. Why, why, why? <laughs> You're all around the question. That's how you do it. Why you didn't go to the top? Because I was scared, all right? I was scared. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, yeah. This is crazy. You can't be scared of nothing. You can't have time to be scared. I was getting dizzy. I was, I was getting dizzy, Finish man. Place. Finish place. I want to get home in one piece. <laughs>